from hopzine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we've got a bit of a big boy of a beer. It's from the De Molen Brewery in Bodegraven in the Netherlands. It's a bottle of their Bowman and Granaten Cascade Dry Hopped coming in at a formidable 15.2% ABV. When you think of De Molen, one of the kind of like one of the early breweries who made a big splash, I guess, worldwide within craft beer. Um, I mean, I mean, I brewed some incredible beer. Um, the Helen Vedermans and um, Rasputin, their big imperial staff, really made a bit of a splash for them, made them a name worldwide, as I said. And I think the regular version of this was one of those beers that really took them to that kind of, and got them noticed. So, it does have a, quite a lot of details on there. And uh, the Merlin often use these hops, as it's mentioned on here, it's, um, it says, oh, you, full ingredients here, though. So he melts pills, Munich, carrot, and cara barley. Cara barley? Never heard of that. And then it's hopped with Sladek uh, Premiant. That's that's one I've never heard of, apart from in De Merlin beers and Sarts, and, but then obviously it's dry hopped with Cascade. Never had any version of this beer. Mm, there's a wisp of carbonation, always. Reassuring because some de Merlin beers can be flat as pancake, really high fill on that bottle, bloody hell. Getting your money's worth 15.2%. <laughs> I'll take it steady this one, but I've heard great things. Um, barley wine is a style that I drink a hell of a lot of. Doesn't mean it's not a great style, it's just I like to drink something that I can have quite a bit of, <laughs> not a tiny amounts like you can with this. And, and they're often very sweet, often very boozy. 15.2, it's probably going to be quite boozy, but anyway, let's waffle. Beer the last, a really nice radiant, kind of peachy, orangish yellow. Much brighter than you can see on camera, <coughs> especially when I hold it up to the light. It's very murky looking. The head, just a covering of kind of pale, kind of warm grey, that kind of newspaper coloured head. So let's check out the aroma. Ooh, nice. Big sugary, sweet sugary caramel. There's a kind of like there's a kind of a summer flower kind of thing going on there. There's like a sweet kind of honeysuckle thing. Loads of a grapefruit, um, pink grapefruit. Oh, wow. Loads of kind of slightly burnt marmalade. So I'm cupping it because I've um, I ain't got much headroom, so I'm not I'm just not a ma I'm not a massive ponce, it just works when you've got a full glass. It's bottle condition, so I want to leave that sediment in the glass. But yeah, loads of papaya, it's kind of like big um puckering grapefruit, big juicy fresh orange, big peach, nectarine, that kind of thing, maybe plums, really jammy, sweet, fruity beer. Not much, no, 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 those fusels of alcohol, no, none of that kind of like ripping around, it's tickling those nostrils. Smells fruity, smells sweet, slightly peppery, but smells great. So let's dive in. Cheers, thanks, Jens. Oh, oh. Wow, wow, that's a big boy. Oh, it keeps coming. <laughs> it's a beautiful tasting beer. Initially, sweet, quite sugary, lovely, sweet, peaches, nectarine, apricot. There's a hint of raspberry jam in there. Then it really kind of builds, it's like making your eyes water, getting a big boozy note to it, You're getting a bit of a big rasping <coughs> hop note to it, definitely getting a lot of kind of massive sticky resin, really big resin, definitely backing up with all those flavours once again, peach, sweet orange, sugar, peppery rye. Nice aromatic malts, really. I mean, the carabao, that might be the thing that's popping through there, which is bringing that kind of nice pumpernickel thing. Maybe a hint of um, 
you know, nutmeg, maybe fresh ginger as well. For 15.2% ABV, it hides its alcohol very well. You do get that back at a bit more towards the back end where the, this kind of like peppery bread and um, big sticky sweet orange toffee apples that comes back. There is a there is a hot bitterness that lingers uh, and, a, and a slightly fragrant, slightly dank edge. This might even kind of cascade. It's quite a dank kind of character. It's a barley wine, without a doubt. One of the better ones I've ever had, to be honest. <clears throat> Look at beers like Sierra Nevada Bigfoot. This is around that mark. It's those kind of style of beer. It's big, sweet, malty, but very hoppy. Packed full of flavour. Good amount of bitterness. Good amount of sweetness. All in check. Loads of nice, fruity flavours jumping out. Perfectly pitched in every sense of that beer. It's kind of barley wine I like. It's barley wine with a little bit more going on. Definitely, I think I'm going to get a bit more of that alcohol wafting around. I'm, a bit more, I'm not that sensitive to those things these days. Especially when they're relatively well hidden. There's definitely a sweetness to it, a definitely sugary, candy floss sweetness. And ending with a nice, bitter lemon, um, pink grapefruit dryness. Nicely done, nicely done indeed. So, big thanks to once again, Jens, king of the beer mail, sends over, not just me, a number of European uh, uh, beer tubers. He sent around some incredible European beers to us. I'm very grateful for that. I finally got to try this beer because it's an absolute storm. 15.2%. It's going to spend. It's going to last me the rest of my Saturday night. That's a serious beer. Where do you go from there? You don't. You go to bed. <laughs> so that is a bottle of De Morlin from Bodegraven in the Netherlands. Bowman and Gr Granaten. I had to remind myself that Bowman and Granaten. Cascade Dry Hopped, 15.2% ABV. They don't mess around. This is a stunning beer. I'm Rob from Popsy.com. See you next time if I'm still standing after this monster. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>